Hi guys, I'm Rajesh from SQL Server Hub. Today I'm going to explain about how we can use or configure SQL Server Extended Event in a 2012. So before proceeding a demo, I'm going to explain about what is use of this tool. Basically, this is a addressing tool equivalent as a SQL profiler. So this is a light weightage tool. So if you making a connection or if you want to trace any activity from the SQL server side, no need to connect with a SQL server instance. But SQL, case of SQL profiler, you have to connect first. It means you are making a connection with a database server. It means you are providing a load overhead on the SQL server. So if you want anything allies in a lightweight or graphically interface, you can go with extended event. This is a recently introduced in a SQL Server. So let's go start. So basically what I can cover here, I can create a session, I can subscribe some event, and I'll be a store of like a data, or you can say traces, and further you'll analyze, okay. So let's start a demo here. Let me open SQL Server Management Studio. It's already open. In SQL Server, you have to expand your management tab. And after that, you have to open an extended event tab. Okay, in session, you can create your extended event whatever you want to like or address like for my case I'm going to tracing one query and also capture like a SQL text as well as execution plan so I'm um, right clicking on the sessions and going with a new session wizard let me put uh, session name my target is capture query and plans. So I'm tracing this one. Okay, it's next. For now, I'm not following with a template because multiple template is defined same like a SQL profiler. So I'm going with a blank using a default template it's uh, using a new template or you can say blank template here as for my requirement i have to capture query information and plan so i have to search query here in query section i got query post execution plan so let me add this one so for adding you have to click on arrow so that will here go next step what information you are looking for basically i want to know client name which client is triggering sql query on the database so i'm selecting host name next i want database id as well as database name and next what i'm looking for like a username if you want username then you can check this one also select this one and you want sql text it means query so whatever command executed by sql server client as well as application that will capture by this event so let me go next you can also select username so i'm going to the next same like a profiler you can add your filter like which database you want to pick up which database traces you want to capture or which query you want to filter like uh, if execution is a more than 10 seconds you want to capture that one so here is a multiple column is called like a database name is also there so you can put your database and equal to multiple operator is there and you can put your database name 
suppose if you want a duration so duration is also there so as per execution of query execution time you can filter out or you can put your values so now i'm not going with a filter condition i'm going to by default i'm capturing my query let's suppose you have to, to like uh, store your data for the future analyze you can save here you can provide a path so i'm putting inside video folder okay so query and you can see plans traces okay i'm going to this next this is a summary information what you selected what is your template you didn't it did not selected any template which event is uh, this event how many column you are picking this one and this is your target so let me finish it's created already close and what i'm doing going to start here i'm going to select all some table For in an adventure database, one table I know very well, like a person is a schema, person dot person. Okay, let me select. I'm putting some top 10. Let's select this one. So, before executing any query or event, you have to start your traces. I created this trace, start first, start the session. No need new connection for this event. It will by default run if you want to view what data capture till now by the SQL Server extended event. So just you have to right click and watch live data. So if anything running on this SQL instance that will display here along with a SQL text. I'm selecting one time more. Let's see what is happening. Multiple, like a data is coming here. So, what we can do here? Suppose you are not able to find which query is executed by this one. So, SQL text, you have to identify which SQL text. So, right click on, first you have to stop your data. Let me stop. Or you can add, like if you want uh, multiple column, like you already selected database name, tax, you can choose here. Suppose you want database name, you can add this one. You want query, you can add this one also. If you want to remove anything, select and go back with this one. So any information you want, basis of your requirement, you have to click and add this here. So you got all information. So this query executed by, and no query is here, but how to know which query executed by this one? Just scroll down up, okay? You got your queries here. If you want to stop, then stop here, because you already got your query, so stop for now. And you can do post a stop. You can you can analyze your data. Like this is your query. It's executed by you. Username is this one. And plan is this one. You got your plan. It's very lightweight tool. You can do like an aggregation also. Suppose you want to some grouping. So you can go with a query. Suppose you want to grouping on the SQL text. You can do here. See what happened here. Okay. How many times it's executed by you? It's already mentioned here. Okay. So you can do group bias, customize, aggregate, a lot of function you can do. Suppose you want to do a count, so you can put here its count. How many times executed by this query? Only one count. This text is 96. So this type of feature is not available in a SQL profiler, but extended event. It's very good feature. So 
we have to use its demo done let me talk about some benefit so basically sql extended event tool is a very lightweight no required connection it's done background hence it's less overhead on the sql instance very good like a filtering option is there and you can say we can do computational over the selected data like you can do group bias you can put some aggregate function in extended event the default got deadlock capture sessions so let me show you like one session is already there it's already introduced by the microsoft so you will get this event so here you got it's a sql server health in this traces or event or extended event you got all deadlock information so no need to create a separate deadlock but as per your custom requirement you can create your deadlock so this is a benefit of extended event and going further extended event is most usable tool for the sql tracing thanks for watching thank you again thank you so much